Hi, Lady Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today I'm going to be talking about some tinted and non-tinted lip balms. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. So, I just recorded a lot of this, but then something happened. My battery died. So that's a bummer. So we'll try this again. So here is the swatches starting from this area all the way to that and I guess I will just pick up the product and show you what product this is the first swatch and this is Smith's Mint Minted Rose Lip Balm that's pretty much clear the second one is Laneige the third one is Sugar Advanced Therapy. Sugar th Advanced Therapy. I thought it was a lip, lip therapy. Anyway, that's that one. Here is the tinted version of that in rose. Here is the Bobbi Brown in melon. And then we got the Clay de Poe. The regular Clay de Poe. Wait, where was melon? Oh my goodness. Okay, right here. So this is the regular Clay de Poe lip glorifier color. And then here is the uh, coral lip glorifier in coral. So then we have the, it's the yellow Sawaso essential serum stick, I believe that's called and I will open these up later. And then we got the tinted version and this is, um, I think it's coral, blossom coral. It's very pretty. Then we got YSL. It's, I gotta look at the notes. It's the pink YSL. And we're gonna just go over these again. And here is the gold YSL. And then the 001 Pink Lip Glow from Dior is right there. That's an unfortunate area because you can't really see it. And the Guerlain. A lip balm, but this is the Guerlain 520 pH Reactive uh, Lipstick. So we'll go over that. So the Smith's Mint Minted Rose Lip Balm is made in the USA and it's cruelty free and it's basically in a petroleum base. So I wear that sometimes at night before I go to sleep but it interferes with my eating and drinking so I'm not 100% a fan of that. There's different types of the same product and I don't know why it's it's just doesn't seem to be focusing so this is eight dollars point eight ounce and it's at Sephora so number two the Laneige um, sleeping mask is very popular this is from Korea it's still not focusing so this is twenty dollars point seven ounce or twenty grams so I really like this. This is uh, is good for at night, but sometimes I use it during the day, and it smells like berries, and it just smells really good. It makes my lips feel good, and I think it has dimethicone in it. I don't have the ingredients offhand, but I do recommend this one. And as far as the non-tinted ones, and I am wearing the. I am wearing the Smiths right now just so you could see what it looked like but if I try maybe I won't try the clear, clear ones on but if I try them all on it's going to take some time to do the filming so the next one is the sugar this is just the sample size sugar advanced lip therapy treatment retails for $26 at Sephora 0.15 ounce 4.3 grams so I'll show you what it looks like. It's basically 
you know, it's just a clear, okay. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be moving. So there's that one. So this one is good. I like this one to wear it during the day or at night if I don't want color. So here's the color version, the Sugar Lip Treatment with SPF $24.15 ounce or 4.3 grams. So it has a very nice um, uh, sheer color and I think it's the rose but I don't particularly like this one because it feels really waxy and heavy if I, I I tried putting this on first and then this and I like the feeling of it better but that's just too much work for me so I will be gradually using this up but I wasn't really a fan of this and this is actually the sugar it, lip uh, treatment is made in France. So now we come to Bobbi Brown. So the Bobbi Brown, I really like this one. This is the extra lip tint. It's also sheer doesn't have any scent and I got I believe it was like melon this melon color it looks it looks uh, I'll have to try this on later it's gonna take time it looks pretty orange but I don't think it looks as orange on my lips so I highly recommend this Bobbi Brown one this was retails for $29.08 .08 or 2 grams so I was really happy with the texture of the Bobbi Brown. It's um, smooth and it's not uh, waxy. It's more smooth. So I'm really particular or persnickety about how my balms feel. It's like I don't want them too heavy, too waxy, but then I kind of don't want them to be too light. So now So we have the two clay to pose. We have the lip glorifier. Here's the lip glorifier. This is just the plain lip glorifier that does give a sheer tint. And let's see. It's uh, color and plumping rose scent tingling sensation. $45 per 0 0.09 ounce. Okay, but I have to say something about this this plain one. It's just a plain, and then they came out with three tinted versions. Sometimes when I put this on my lips, to be honest, it is very painful. The tingling sensation hurts me. It actually hurts me. Nevertheless, I press through because the formula, the formula of this is so good. The painful tingling scent doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's pretty painful to me. But I like this product a lot, which is weird. I wouldn't think I would like a painful product. But anyway, so here is the tinted version. And I also got, what is it, coral? And this has a honey orange scent. It's also $45 for 0 .0 um ounces. And I got, I got these from Nordstrom's, or you can get them from Saks and... Or other department stores. So Clay de Poe is under, let's see, the Shiseido, like Shiseido is like the parent company for Clay de Poe, and Clay de Poe is made in Japan, which I thought it was French because the name sounds French. I guess it's French. So I was surprised that it was from Japan when I The other ones that I like, actually they're from, I believe they're from Korea. The Sawaso Essential Lip Serum Stick. Okay, so I got two and the yellow one has this. 
it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a fake, like, stone cap, but the packaging, if I could get it to focus, is very attractive. And then the colored version that I got, or the tinted version, is Blossom Coral. So these are both $38 for point. 11 ounces. I don't have the grams on here. So let me show you the yellow one and it is it kind of smells like oh I got fuzz on here. Kind of smells like lemon. I'm not sure if it's lemon scented. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? So this is the yellow one. They also have one that's like looks similar to this but it's pink. They're I believe they're just meant to be clear and they're not pH reactive. So this is one of my favorites. This is a little bit heavier, but it's definitely comfortable and not um, waxy like the sugar one that I didn't like. So now we come to the Blossom Coral. Here is the Blossom Coral. Um, I think it looked more orange on my arm, but it is beautiful. This is a beautiful lip tint. Okay, so I can't wait. So the, these are actually the Clay de Po and the Sawa So. Um, I'm holding it upside down. Anyway, um, these are some of my favorite ones, but I still have I still have some other favorites. I'm gonna have to narrow it down by the end of the video, but both of these in this this whole line um, it's very I really like that so we go to where are we I'm, I'm trying to find my notes again Yves Saint Laurent um, Volup, Volup Tint see this is a work of art it's beautiful Tint and Balm Hybrid am I do I have the right one yes Hybrid Lipstick Balm Sheer color it's a sweet fruity scent and I got number three call me rose bubblegum pink $34 for 0.12 ounces 3.5 grams and so this is the cute thing there is um, I'm gonna get this right see the the lips in this center of that I think that's so cute so this formula along with the other one I'm going to show you is uh, this is not a plumping lip balm but this is a very sheer lip tint tint and balm so um, and it's definitely it smells really sweet and fruity and I really like it so I'm I'm happy with this one. I just I really like sheer washes of color on my lips and the formula on these this one and this one very this is one of the light I think out of the whole all of these balms, these are this is the lightest formula. Feels very, very light. Not heavy on the lips at all. Not waxy, very smooth. But I kind of glanced at the ingredients and I I don't believe I saw any dimethicone in that, which I'm I'll have to check that again, but if I it's I'm really surprised. I thought it would be like full of dimethicone. So this the second one Volupt, volumped, I can't pronounce it, plump in color, plumping lip balm. 
And this has a mild cooling sensation. This one does not hurt me at all. This is $39.12 ounce, 3.5 grams. So this is, it has a cute gold, um, oh, I just can't get my positioning right. So cute little black heart in there, and this is the gold. Well, maybe I can swatch this again. You see that? I can't really see it. Okay, so by this mole right here. It's very, very sheer gold, so. Okay, so Dior lip color, 00 pink glow light pink. This is pH reactive, $34.12 ounce, 3.52 grams. So I, this is like the first one I've had. I This is the second one I bought um, of the Dior. So this was my favorite and it's still very good. Very good. It's, um, you can eat and drink with it. It doesn't bother me and it's um, it does have a scent it's very light and I'd say a little bit sweet and this I believe this is pH reactive it reacts with your pH to give you a sheer color I'll have to try it on later so this was one of my favorites until I tried these other ones and I like the formula because this is a little bit this formula is definitely heavier I don't believe I would call it waxy. This, to me, this formula is pretty waxy. I don't like it the way it feels on my lips at all. Some Somebody probably likes it because it's pretty popular. So it's not, the Dior is not waxy like I described the Sugar Rose as. This one is smooth, but it's... Um, it's just definitely heavier, weightier on the lips. So now we come to, okay, so I can't talk, I don't have the Givenchy. I got the Givenchy Le Rouge Perfecto Beautifying Lip Balm 01 Perfect Pink. I returned it. It was $37 for 0 .0, 0 0.07 ounce, uh, 1.98 grams. I returned it due to the perfume taste. Otherwise, I loved it. It was a work of art. I'm going to insert the picture right here. Beautiful work of art. I believe part of the case is leather. I mean, it was gorgeous. I loved it. I wanted to keep it, but when I tried it, I tasted perfume, and I just couldn't. I, I didn't. I just couldn't keep it for that amount of money and have to taste perfume if I ate or drank. So sorry Givenchy. So we got this and I talked about this in another um, video. Look at this. So this made in France. Oh wait a minute I didn't go over the YSL. I believe, and I can't see, yeah, I believe the YSL is made in France. The Dior, or is, I, the, I think the Dior is made in France also. So this is Guerlain, and it's also made in France. This is Kiss Kiss Rose Lip Color Morning Rose R371 Sheer Soft Pink, $38.00. 0 0.09 ounce, 2.55 grams. So the, here's another um, one that. Okay. Let's see. So I I love this good formula, except for the glitter. I don't like the glitter. I mean, it adds to. There's a very soft. Maybe it's a rose scent. So this would be. I would really like it if it wasn't for the glitter. So 
It's almost perfect except for the glitter. And it's just a very, you saw my arm, it's very sheer. So that was my first Guerlain lip product. So we're going to come to the final one, which technically if you want to be persnickety or picky about it, this is not a tinted, tinted, this is not a tinted lip balm. This is considered a lipstick color, but to me, it feels like a lip balm. It's $33, so let me explain. It's a customizable lipstick. Beautiful case. Um, the the lipstick and the case are two separate products that you have to purchase. This lipstick case is $22. It's the color Romantic Boheme. And I'll show you what my problem is. Because I'm left-handed, so I hold it like this. Now, <laughs> and I open it like this. And the mirror opens like this away from me. So... Is anybody out, else out there that's left-handed and that has gotten this lipstick case? Let's try that again. So, so I guess most people will pull it with their right hand and then the mirror opens up so you can see it for the right-handed people of the world. So that was something that I didn't know or didn't realize and this was a little bit disappointment to me but I love the lipstick case. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me open it up the way I would normally do to show you again. Left-handed people. It's a right-handed world. So I'm going to put the case down again. This section, they have different ones. $22.00 which I think is a pretty good, um, I think that's a pretty good price for a fancy case considering this other case that I was looking at. So you can pick any color of your lipstick. So here is the um, pH, um, what is it, pH, universal pH adapted shade in satin. It's, they call it lipstick, lipstick color N520. So here, oh, I keep on doing that again. So it looks, you would think, oh, it looks just like pink lipstick. Let me swatch it. See, because look, when you put it on your skin, it's more like a bomb. And then it, it changes colors. There's, if there's a scent, I can't smell it. It's a slight, slight scent, not overpowering. It's very lovely. The, this would be, I don't know if I'm going to try any of the other lipsticks because I don't usually like lipsticks. But this formula, this is a really good formula. So I highly recommend this. So you can just buy this part and without the case, this is $33. So I'm going to have to try that. And it has, it says Guerlain on the part of the lipstick. But I was happy with this lip. I was happy with the color that, that it's more balmy and that sums up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're well and I hope to see you next time. Take care everybody. If you liked today's video, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.